Well, hello my friends, Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. I am back with another video for you guys today, and this is going to be in response to a tag video. James the Junkyard Fox, he did a, what's it called, the Q&A Quarantine Challenge? Quarantine Q&A Challenge? Something like that. And uh, I got 12 questions I'm going to answer, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to tag two or three other YouTubers, and they can make the video and tag two or three more. And then we get the ball rolling and more videos for you guys to watch. So... These are fairly easy questions for me to answer, so I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm also going to throw in what would have normally been a separate video. Boom! This is going to be a whiskey review as well. This is going to be on the Four Roses Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, as you can see, I've already tried it out, so I already have my opinion on it. But of course, I'm going to do the taste test on camera for you guys. I was supposed to review this on a camping trip at the end of March. We're now in the, what, end of May? So... Almost two months ago, I was supposed to review this, but as you know, the apocalypse happened. Everything got shut down. No campgrounds are open, anything or anything like that. So everything got canceled. So I already had, you know, had to go ahead and try it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little taste test, tell you guys what I think. But let's get into the Q&A portion of the video. So I got my little cheat sheet here. Question one. How many rolls of toilet paper do you have at the moment? I have, I just looked, I have 18 rolls of mega rolls, which is the equivalent of like 92, you know, it's 18 rolls, but they're huge. So I'm fine. <laughs> That's going to last quite some time. And the toilet paper shortage thing is almost gone now. I mean, it's everywhere I go, it's back on the shelf. So it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, question two, what has been the biggest change for you since the lockdown? Nothing. I mean, nothing really. I mean, I am an essential employee, so my job continued. I'm full-time. As you know, I'm in liquor distribution. Everyone wants liquor, especially now. Uh, the only thing that's the biggest change is that I'm no longer uh, serving restaurants. I'm no longer delivering alcohol to restaurants. So my warehouse uh, has been slower. That's pretty much it. Outside of that, nothing really. All right, number three, where are you parked? Uh, I don't know. I think that question is aimed at guys that do RV camping or something, but that was the third question. Where am I parked? Right now, I'm parked at the dealership. My bike is in getting work done. It's probably going to be there for over a week or more. Uh, it was a huge problem. I'm not going to go into it, but big problem, engine out, torn apart. Uh, got to get that fixed. So I'm without a ride this Memorial Day weekend, unfortunately. All right, number four. What, what have you gone with? Oh, what have you gone without recently? I can't read my own writing. What have you gone without recently? Again, nothing. Uh, I'm a prepper. I I have plenty of food. I already had toilet paper. Uh, I guess hand sanitizer. I, I think hand sanitizer is the thing that I've gone without the most. But I made my own. You saw my last video was about making your own using 190 proof Everclear. So I didn't really go without that except for the time it took me to go get some at the liquor store. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you're a prepper, you really, you, you're probably already set to begin with. And that's me. So uh, let's see. Number five. What are you most grateful for? Well, without the obvious answers of family, friends, my dogs, I'd say the thing I'm most grateful right now for is the fact that I am an essential worker and I have a full-time job still. My hours weren't cut. I'm still working. I'm still staying somewhat busy, not as busy as usual, but I'm very thankful that I am not working in like a, you know, a, a what's been deemed non-essential, like a vape store. Or I remember when I was young, I worked at what was basically a, uh, it was a tobacco pipe selling shop and, you know, those places are all closed down or, you know, they're reopening now. But yeah, I'd say my, you know, uh, what are you most grateful for my job right now? Um, number six, what do you miss the most? Nothing. I can tell you uh, I don't miss rush hour traffic. That's all gone. Uh, having to weave in and out of cars and all the idiots on the road, even though there's still more idiots on the road. Uh, what do I miss the most? I really can't say there's anything I really miss. I would, I guess hanging out for a while, you know, we're all in this lockdown, so not being able to go hang out with my friends, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, number seven, how long has it been since you've been to a campsite? It has been far, far too long. It's been well over six months. I think the last camping trip I went on was last September. So it's, it's been, it's been far too long. I mean, I'll, I'll go out and, you know, do some stuff in the backyard, set up a tent, hang out in there and, you know, but I haven't, you know, I don't like sleeping on the ground. So I actually haven't spent a night outdoors in, since September. So I'm, I'm dying inside. I, I really need, I'm planning one as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks. All right. Uh, da, 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 number eight, what is your favorite quarantine food? Is it food? No, but you know, it'll fill you up. 
Uh, all right, number nine. How are you exercising doing workouts? That's my job. I work in a warehouse. I'm lifting cases of wine. I'm uh, unstacking cases of wine off a pallet, putting them up on shelves. You know, I, my, my workout's my job. It always has been. I'm not a, I'm not a gym person. I'm not into, uh, you know, doing cardio. And obviously, I'm not into doing cardio. Uh, but I do a lot of lifting. And, you know, I move around fast in the warehouse. But I'm not, I'm not a treadmill guy. I'm not about, you know, all the different machines and the lifting weights and all that stuff. I, I like to get my workout in my daily routine. So uh, that's how I'm doing it, my job. Number 10, who are you challenging next? I'm going to save that to the end of the video. So consider that the that question's added on to the end, put on the end. As most rent and mortgage payments should be right now. And <laughs> they shouldn't be up your butt right now for you to make those payments. They should be tacking those onto the end of your loans. So <laughs> we'll throw in some little crap right there. All right, uh, 11, what good has come from this? What is the silver lining of this situation? I really don't know, honestly. I, I What good has come from it? Like personally or like as a society? As a society, nothing I can think of that's been good about this. People are losing their jobs. You know, old folks are dying. Uh, uh, comparable immune system people, whatever, you know, they're, they're it's, it's just a bad situation. I can't really see a silver lining in this. Personally, if, if I had to say there was a silver lining, I'd say that I've been able to realize uh, what I had. I already had everything I need, so I didn't really need, I didn't think about toilet paper, but you know, I got two big things of it, you know, early off almost two months ago and I've been fine. So I guess for me, what good has come from this? I realized that maybe I should carry a little more toilet paper than usual. Uh, you know, I now know how to make hand sanitizer with alcohol. It's pretty easy to figure out. I, I'd say that's it. Yeah. Uh, Nothing really good, I would say. Just uh, some things I could I could think about with dealing with my preps in the future. All right, last question. What will be different for you when this is over? What is changing? Uh, what will be different? I think it's the interactions with people, uh, how people are, are dealing with me when I'm doing my job. You know, I, I'm only allowed when I'm delivering wine to go wine, liquor, when I'm, I can only be in for a certain amount of time. Some people, I, you know, I have to wear a mask in some places. Some places they don't care. You know, and I don't care about wearing a mask. I actually have a really cool leather mask on order right now that is incredible. You'll see that uh, pretty soon. It's for riding my bike, but I'm going to wear it pretty much all the places where I need a mask and probably scare the hell out of some people. So uh, let's get on before I tag the guys. Let's get on to the whiskey review. So Four Roses Single Barrel. I'd never had Four Roses before, and it, it's a pretty cool looking bottle. Nice engraved roses. There's four of them, hence the name four roses. Uh, it's got this little, I think, fake leather wrap thing going around up here. I don't know. Nice cork. Hear that? I love that sound. Let's pour a little bit in this glass. There we go. Not too much. It's still the afternoon. Just going to have a sip, save the rest for later tonight. Let's do the whole fruity, like I have a trained palate thing and see how, uh, how this plays out for me. So swish it around like that matters. It doesn't matter. Give it a smell. It's not... I don't know, kind of smells like nail polish remover. Yeah, I'm not getting, you know, some some whiskeys I will get an instant sweet smell off of. Not this one. Yeah, nail polish remover. That's what I'm smelling. All right, let's taste it now. Pretty smooth. Waiting for a burn. Not yet. This stuff is 50% alcohol by volume, so that would be 100 proof, 100 proof uh, whiskey. Now there's the burn. As far as flavor goes, it's not really sweet. It's more, uh, I don't know, kind of nutty, if you would. I don't know what kind of, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm picking up some kind of nut tone to it. But that's me, man. I'm not, as you guys know, I'm a blue collar guy. Whiskey either tastes good or it doesn't. I usually back my whiskey with uh, iced tea. I like peach iced tea. That's my favorite. And... I drink it straight every now and then. I never do it on the rocks. I don't like cold alcohol in general. Uh, so I would say this is pretty good. And for the price, I can't remember what I paid for it. I think it was around 30, 35 bucks. I would buy this again. Uh, it's a pretty good tasting whiskey. Let's do one more little sip here. Still smells like uh, nail polish remover. For being 100 proof, it's pretty smooth. You can tell there's that extra alcohol in there. But yeah, would I recommend Four Roses single barrel for the price, for the appearance, for the taste? Absolutely. I mean, 35 bucks, I think that's what I did. 30 or 35. 
uh, Isaiah approved. Pick yourself up a nice bottle. I couldn't think of the word bottle. Pick yourself up a nice bottle of the Four Roses. All right. Uh, let's add a couple more things in here. Let's, first of all, I'm going to tell you who I tag. Uh, the first person I'm going to tag to do the 12 question Q and a quarantine video challenge is Robert Ricks, the angry jackalope. One of my go-to guys for doing uh, Q and a videos. He's one of the only people I can watch do a live stream. I complain about live streams a lot. I don't know what happened, man, but all of a sudden these channels where they used to do like, I watch a lot of motorcycle channels, outdoor channels, and it used to be, you know, they're reviewing this or they're going to talk about this. It's 10 minutes. 20 minutes long, it's a camping video or a you know motorcycle adventure video or something like that, half an hour long, 40 minutes even. Now, <laughs> YouTubers, man, they're coming out with hour and a half, two hour long live streams, boring as hell. They sit in front of the camera, they have no idea what they're gonna talk about, they're adjusting microphones, blah, 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 blah. Robert Ricks, though, he has a regular show on Saturday, he's got a high quality setup and his shows are entertaining. He has a topic, he keeps the thing going. It's not all this like, Anyone asking any questions out there? Like that kind of crap. I don't know what it is. So anyway, Robert Ricks, Angry Jackalope, you are tagged to do this video challenge. And I want to show you guys something. This knife right here, I recently bought this from the Angry Jackalope himself. I've wanted a zombie tools knife for a very long time. Look how monstrous this is. This is more of a short sword. It came with a Kydex sheath down there. I'm not even going to show it. It was crap. But I got this leather sheath from, I think it's called Warlander. Something like that. Warlander leather work something. I'll put that up on the screen if I had that wrong, but look at this baby right here. <laughs> I mean, look at that thing, man. That is just pure badassery. This is just a badass looking blade. I screwed it up already. I went out, did some wood chopping task with it, put some dings in the blade, kind of tried to grind them out a little bit on my work sharp, went a little too high on the finish. Anyway, I'll get that fixed. So I'll, you know, I'll not be drinking when I do it next time and it'll uh, come out a little bit better. But man, leather wrap on here is awesome. This blade in general is just, I'll do a review eventually on this, but God, look at that baby. It's like a short sword of just killer awesomeness. Slice somebody's head right off with this sucker probably. Don't go doing that though. You don't want to slice any heads off. Anyway, uh, so Robert Ricks, you are tagged. Next person I'm going to tag is going to be Someone that we all know, he's a guy that kind of got me started on YouTube, and that is uh, Chris Tanner, Prepared Mine 101. He's slowed down in his videos, and I uh, I haven't seen any, like, camping videos. It's mostly knife reviews, and I'm bored with knife reviews, so uh, that's why I don't do a lot of them anymore. But, um, Chris, you're, you're tagged. I'd like to see your answers to these questions. And finally, I'm going to tag someone that we haven't heard from for a very long time. That is Micah Heartless from Bear Heart Outdoors. Micah, you know, we were in the outdoor arena together, man. You're, I know you kind of quit doing the channel. I would like to see you, though, you know, bring at least this video back. I'd like to see who you tag, and I'd like to get your answers to these questions, guys. So that's it today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Do I have anything else? to? I'll show you guys a couple more things real quick, things that I recently uh, grabbed. My new EDC pack. I'm not doing unboxings or any of that kind of crap. I'm just going to show it to you later on. I may or may not do a review. Probably will on some of these items. This is the 511, I hope you can see that well, the 511 Amp 24. Modular kind of backpack with this big panel, uh, different items you can stick out there. I'm not going to start doing a review. I always want to do that as soon as I grab the product, but that's my new EDC bag. <clears throat> Maxpedition uh, Amp 24, and then I just picked this up. What's his name? Uh, Aaron from Gideon's Tactical showed that there was a, let me get some light on that. Show that there was a sale on these. I've been wanting to get one of these. I had the pillow uh, for the long time, for the longest time, and I've been wanting to get an inflatable pad. And this was only thirty-five bucks if you got this blue color and the older version of it. So uh, the only difference in the newer version is the the valve stem. Basically, it's di done a different way. But yeah, thirty-five bucks. I couldn't pass that up. So I'm gonna check that out because I do want to try some tent camping again, even though I hate sleeping on the ground. I'm gonna try it. All right, guys, I've rambled enough. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you got anything you want to say. Look in the description box for links to the channels that I tagged. And also look to, for a link to the uh, James James's video, Junkyard Fox, his original video where he tagged me so you can get his answers as well. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Like, share, subscribe. I already said all that. See, I'm going to ramble, so I'm just going to have uh, another sip of this. And until next time, we'll see you around the fire.